as well as Invoker. So I'm really concerned that they're kind of just going to get outmaneuvered around the map, just purely based on the fact that none of their heroes want to move. I love the production. They're like, okay, we noticed something about these Liquid games. We'll go to the casters, but real quick, we got to go into the game because Liquid, they did the same thing. Just slightly different side of the map. A uh, five man over here and uh, managed to catch Jesse. This pants down. Underneath yeah, the trees. It's so easy at nighttime now. This yeah. whole night change until the zero minute mark has made these level one skirmishes so much more common. It's pretty crazy that uh, this 800 vision, but like range instead of the 1800, it's just so much easier to sneak up on people, give them the wraparound and paths that they normally would have seen you. I honestly don't know why more teams don't do this. Why not just five man to one side? A uh, little back and forth shenanigans. As Koikva is level 3 now, that poison attack starts to add up a lot, doubles up in the damage, as it looks like he's going to go down on the 5 position for us. I get, don't get to say that very often. What was he doing over there? He was blocking the hurricane. Oh, okay. for the pull. That's fair enough. Yeah, if you guys are learning, trying to learn how to live like 15 seconds. Yeah really high amount of experience as well so he's still going to get those uh, high levels of sleight of fist very very soon oh good kill there in the top lane they get taiga while trying to take uh, some bounty runes man he's six slotted look at his inventory <laughs> is he really oh look at that he's got eight items yeah you're right he's actually egg slotted <laughs> All right, there goes the Rod of Atos. They're going to reveal that one as they start going on to the Morphling. He's going to shrink more for all he can and will manage to get out thanks in part to the rotations. Oh, nice pushback there. Era also pull in on Mickey to quickly surround that Earth Spirit. Mickey still has a Haste so he can chase some more heroes down if he wants to. Gets the Chakra Magic, had another slide, but figured, eh. No need to really dive this Dark Seer too much. Just be happy with what you got. <laughs> Oh, Tornado, Insania, does have Taiga here to be able to block him off Zibay. I keep forgetting that this, <laughs> this little guy, man, he's so squishy. Then again, so is Koifa when he's surrounded by four heroes, but every single time I look at that prison bag. Like, that guy hits for 300 right now. Oof. Yeah, that, that'll certainly do it. That tower's going to die top for sure. Nah, I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself like Kyle does. I'll just say it's most likely going to die here. Let's see. Liquid is going to try and defend here. Aero tries to make the initiation a little bit off the mark there with that roll in. And unfortunately, he's going to pay the iron price. His blood is spilled on the battlefield. The tower does indeed die, though, Brian. You're absolutely right about that one. But the tower is also, again, going to come at a cost. Two heroes down, perhaps three, maybe gonna die here as well. Out of the MP, out of the Sun Strike, so he is okay for now. Make it, gotta be careful of that. Uh, turn into the Ember Spirit and had the shackles on him. Supreme, uh oh, here comes the damage, here comes Taiga. They're gonna throw a lot of tag team damage onto him, maybe Slop. The on the oh, they managed to get in front of him. Here comes the Bristleback. Zibay's here Rangers to defend his Supreme. Oh no, the Morphling's dead, Zibay's dead too. Oh. Shape. Here's the counter, guys. If you're looking to figure out how to play Bristle against Viper, you just don't level Bristleback. Ah. Maybe eight or nine months ago. On paper, it's like, yeah, it's really counter. It's a really good hero, but they picked like four counters. Let's just move into support. And then you just don't have a support. Well, Zib is uh, going to give his best rendition of uh, Contortionist to try and be as flexible as possible to get out of that gig, but he does not. <laughs> I was wondering what you meant by Contortionist. Oh, you're talking about flexibility, you know? Yeah, that's true, that's true. That's good, that's a good one. I, I mean, they're they're trying to be... Oh, they're Ultimately, they're trying to be OG, but... Can't quite pull that one off without some some real good practice. Mickey with the double damage almost brings Charlie down. The roll in from Taiga. He's going to get the big fish punch in there to finish him off. And now, uh, well, this is going to be high coast on the retreat, just like that. Yeah, I love the Desolator from the Ember. Other than Morphling, all four heroes on the enemy team are strength heroes with low armor. Mm. Taiga. 
Not quite catching Zibe there, but Mickey can. He's going to get the twofer. Lock him down with the Rod of Atos. They can go for the carry here. They can go for the Morphling. Supreme's already dead. Tornado up in the air. The Dark Seer had just used his surge. So beautiful timing there from Boxy with a Quack Switch. Invoker catching him out. Koifa, he's not scared of anything, nor should he be, as most of High Coast is all dead. And they're up a whopping 10,000 net worth now. It's crazy to me the difference between like tier one EU and tier two EU because this this high coast team these players are good man. Charlie's like top ten. Era's been around for a very long time. Same with Chessy, very high MMR. Like all these players are really good players, man. Yeah. Uh, I think it's easy at home to like laugh at these guys and think, wow, what a stupid draft. Like how bad are these guys? This is just proof of how good Liquid is, man. And then Liquid lost to Team Digma, you know, a day or two ago. That, that's just crazy to me, like the, 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 the gap here. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. I, I, I have to assume this is something they've tried out in scrim, right? This five position bristleback. They probably tried know. it out. Uh-oh. Supreme. Honestly, this looks like something where I don't know how we deal with this. We don't have enough fans in the first round. How about we just deny pick the bristle? I uh, actually pretty sure that's how that went down. <laughs> if there's a loser's interview, you can ask, but I don't think there is one. <laughs> I love it. Let's let's look at the stats of deaths. There are only two people with deaths on the side of Liquid. That's Koifa and Taika, the offlane duo of this game anyway. Yeah, whenever you're winning like this, you gotta you gotta bring up the scoreboard and say, who are the feeders? Who are the feeders on the winning team here? I mean, who are the team players, Brian? It's such a carry mentality to assume that Des means feeding. Could just be, you know, playing for your team. That's such a support excuse. <laughs> I mean, mentality. <laughs> uh... 13k, the number keeps climbing, the map gets smaller and smaller for High Coast, and they may have a Morphling, uh, but I don't know. It's going to take them, like, mega throws. I, I don't know how they possibly rectify this big of an advantage, or disadvantage, rather, for High Coast. They may have a hard carry, that uh, maybe this lineup at, at, at 55 minutes in an even game uh, is going to look fantastic, but right now, this far down, they just get crushed. I just love watching Liquid specifically because I feel like if I look at their distribution of net worth every uh, single game, the order in which people are is just different. Mm. Like, obviously, this series, Mickey has been on top for both games, but sometimes Koikva is the one. Sometimes Taiga even has, like, one of the two highest net worths. Very rarely have I seen Taiga be the five position as the four, right? He's a hero that farms much less than Keeper of the Life. Okay, do you see that? Versatility in that. They're not even giving up this safe lane tower. So they had Equipa down here, right? He threw down Nether Strike and then TP'd up to go Roshan. And then while they are doing Roshan, Insania comes in, he pushes out this lane and he can recall his allies in. So they set it up where they're able to take Roshan without even giving up a tier one tower. That's what, just smooth. What movie is it where you say like, Take like give them nothing and take from them everything. Yes. That, yes. yes that, that, oh, that's that, that sounds like what they're going for here. It really does. Gracious, this is. Uh, I, I was kind of joking about Liquid being bullies, but this is getting a little too real. Yep. Just look at it. Coddle farming bottom. Viper farming mid. Ember killing a tower top. Pretty much the story of this series. That would be the 300 you just quoted, right? I thought so, but it's one of those where, like, if I say the movie and I'm wrong, yeah. I, I feel stupider than just acting like I don't remember the movie, so... Uh, I, I went with the conservative approach. Or maybe you could, maybe maybe you could uh, act like a, a, a bougie, you know, uh, a intellectual and, and say that you were quoting King Leonidas, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if he actually in reality said that. It sounds like a Hollywood thing, but... Sounds like something would be hard to disprove, so I could go with it. Yeah, absolutely. Chessy. Oh dear, that's a BKB on Mickey. A BKB with a double damage. And I'm uh, pretty sure those letters all combined, BKB and DD, combined to say that High Coast is dead. Ah. 
I feel like there's no way those le letters combine to say that, but... It, it's code, Brian. You wouldn't understand. Okay, fair enough. It's support talk. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the four and five positions out there totally understand me. Hey, you know what? Hey, shout out to High Coast. You gotta have... You, you, there's, there's no other way to treat that game than just to laugh it off. You know? I, it's all good. It's all good, baby. It happens. Sometimes you just get uh, outdrafted and uh, you get stomped. Right, Brian? Yeah. Sometimes you just mix some chemicals together and they explode in your face. And uh, that's about what happened to High Coast here. I, I don't think they should take it too hard. I think them laughing it off is, like you said, a good attitude to have. Liquid, they're just a good team. Like, their strategy is top notch. And when Liquid's in peak form, like, they look real good. And even though they did lose to Team Nigma, it didn't look convincing by any means. I almost yeah. felt like.